support the you know run loose game and the gap fits and how you know in each type of run play offensive run where everybody has to fit in. So it creates a little different in uh you know in the in the spring we work out the kinks and then fall camp you know we'll work out even more kinks so that when the season comes around we'll be ready. And for me, you know, um, I just I expect to do whatever I can do this season to help my team win games, you know, be a leader on the defense, you know, get the younger guys going because, you know, the SEC and all that. But overall, it's still football, you know, the field's still the same lane, it's still the same width, so we'll be fine, you know, just try to be a leader. And when things get tough, you know, be somebody that the young guys can look up to and just say, okay, just keep fighting and everything will be all right. Is that right, Luke? Sean Borders received a lot of preseason recognition, and deservedly so, but do you see this as an opportunity this year for you to kind of turn some heads in and make some plays out there? I mean, do you kind of have a chip on your shoulder a little bit? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I'm always motivated. Um, you know, preseason accolades, you know, I don't really pay attention to that because, I mean, you see it go both ways. You see people who get great preseason accolades, and then they'll fall off in the season, and you'll see people who don't get anything, and they'll blow up in the season. So, I mean, preseason's preseason. Um, and just like with us last year, you know, with preseason top 10, and we finished outside the top 25. So the preseason really means nothing. You know, that's just speculation and what everybody thinks. But that's why they play the game. Right here, Sam. Tell me, give me a sense for what it's been like uh, since Mark Snyder taken over and what, what your feel is for the kind of guy that he is. He has ever worked for him. Um, he's a good guy. You know, um, he's my third defense coordinator. So with all three different coordinators three different defense coordinators, you get different philosophies on, you know, how each one of them thinks, you know, you should stop certain things, and so you can implement, you know, what Coach Kimes and then what Coach Bruder kind of said into what he thinks, and then you just see where the differences are. I mean, overall, football's football, and everybody has their own philosophy on what's right and what's wrong. So, I mean, but his scheme overall is good. I think it will be very effective in the SEC, and it will help us win a lot of games. Right here, Brett. How do you Draw the most ideally probably guys would like to play for one coordinator right. and get settled in. But how do you draw positives from playing for three different guys like that? Um, well, you draw positives just because you know you know that they all know the game. You know they wouldn't be coaching at a big time level if they didn't know the game. So they know what they're talking about. You know maybe the scheme or we didn't make enough plays necessarily, but they know what they're talking about. And specifically, I mean, you could coach guys. You know he coached in the SEC for many years. So he knew how to stop the SEC run defense. So this year, you know, when Coach Snyder starts talking about things, you know, it kind of triggered back to what Coach Kahn used to talk about. And he'd be like, okay, you know, I learned this as a freshman, but now I really understand it, and I really know how to do what I need to do in order to stop what we need to stop.